This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! Alright, let's continue. Are we doing more cooking? I might have explained this before, but... Physical education at our school is really just an exercise in disorder. After some random warm-ups, the rest of the time is spent doing whatever. You're free to cause a ruckus or just fall asleep. I don't know if I don't know, but I don't know if 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 I don't know. Oh, I hope. Probably. I'm definitely not at my physical ability. Oh boy, it's the gym outfits again. We should play capture the flag. Yeah, when, when's the creepy stuff gonna show up? It's horror mode. I wanna, I want scares. I want psychological horror. That's why I'm playing this. Come to think of it, they might be right. If we all lined up for a race, there was a good chance I'd finish dead last if it didn't start off well. Like, first chapter, I get they had a lot of this happy filler stuff to lure you into that false sense of security so that way when the horror aspects came out, it hit you hard. But at this point, you know it's a horror game. So there's no need to hold back. I don't know. This is like... Uh, I'll also say this, this is one of the highest rated, I think, horror visual novels there is. So it probably gets good, and there's probably a reason they have this much filler stuff. Maybe the best thing to do is just to stop talking and actually enjoy uh, the story and progress for it. Yeah, it's okay, G has bad physical education. Let's just pray that when a brutal penalty game is at stake, the 100 meter dash isn't a club activity. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing tires you out like watching TV. Take a sleep on the roof. Uh, at night. As I began to sprawl out on top of a pipe, Mion grabbed me by the collar. Good grief. Which means, is it going to start again? Look,このまま井戸端会議でチャイムを待つなんて、熱き血潮の鍵った私たちには無理だよね。部活タイム、行ってみよっか。Hold. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm not going that far. Now that this is happening, taking a nap is impossible. Not just that, with this sleep-deprived mind of mine, I'm as good as mincemeat. I have to get my brain in gear. <laughs> Why do you have to play with penalties? She began to announce the cruel penalty game with a grand spinning flourish. But before she could do that... Hmm? Of all people, it was Rika-chan announcing her non-participation. Even rare events do eventually occur. What was this? It's like her entire body zipped up. Losing her time, in Mion spun like a top as she tumbled to the ground. That's how they say wa in Japan, apparently. What? Oh yeah, that's the festival. Because Rika gets to pull... I can't remember what she did. She played an important part in the festival. Well, you also have noodle arms, so that makes sense. Oh no, but Keiji already got his brain fired up, so now he can't take a nap. Let's 
Last time we did hang out with Tomotake at the Watanagashi before he uh, had his throat clawed out. Maybe that'll happen again. The, the first part, not the throat clawed out. Hmm. So when Mion announced that today's club activity was canceled, Rika and Satoko headed off behind the school building. Only I was left alone, completely clueless as to what everybody was talking about. リカちゃんは渡流しの巫女さんだから奉納の演舞をすることになっててね。ああ、she's She's on her own now. Considering that this entire chapter is called Watanagashi, I'm guessing something very important will happen at the festival. Head <laughs> priest! <laughs> I, knew, I knew it wasn't Shrine Butler, but... You got, you got the point. Okay, yeah, I, I was correct on that. I remember some things, just not a lot. Oh, I can't do that. That's Sabbath. Huh? Come to think of it, I have a, f I have a feeling that Mion... Mom, not Mion. <laughs> did I just call Mion Mom? Whoops. I had, did have a feeling Mom did say something about it during dinner the other day. It's like one of those Harvest Moon festivals, but with more death involved. That is literally a, a festival in Harvest Moon 64. Oh. Not cotton plants? Alright. Well, yeah, this game takes place in, I think, 1983. So, oh my gosh. That's 40 years ago. Mion would almost be 60 years old. Nowadays. Well, that's kind of weird to think about. <laughs> we set the futons with people sleeping on them down the river. Oh, wait, that's the prank part of it. Me on tilt their head pensively. I, th I think you did, where, like, they meet up again once they're older. Mion and Rena indicated that I had the correct answer with a round of applause. リカちゃんが巫女なんだ。言われてみればリカちゃんってどことなく神秘的な雰囲気あるよな。だよね、だよね。リカちゃんの巫女さん姿ってね。はあ。I mean, we we saw that in chapter one. It's a nice outfit. It certainly does seem like something that would it would suit her. Yeah, it might be cute. ようやく話が見えてきたぞ。リカちゃんの言う特訓ってのは。このミコさん役の練習なわけだな。そういうこと。ミコさんが布団をお払いする一連のセレモニーを奉納演舞って呼ぶんだけどね。それの練習なんだよ。結構大変なんだな、これが。ミコさんはね、最重要の大きな桑
どのくらい重いんだかなり重いらしいよリカちゃんは餅つき用のキネで練習してるくらいだから Wait a minute That's way too heavy Forget about Rika chan, that'd be rough even for me! Oh, is Rika secretly swole? まあ、年に一度のお勤めだからね。私たちは陰ながら応援するしかないね。大丈夫。去年もちゃんとやり遂げたんだから。あ、そっか。じゃあさ、せめて応援してやろうぜ。それくらいならいいだろう。I was rather curious about exactly how she practiced. Mion laughed as she shook her head. Hmm? I didn't quite understand what Mion was saying. No, she wants people to see her as a, a weak little girl, so that way she can use that to her advantage and win the competitions. Even the always cool and aloof Rika Chan has times when she sweats while giving it her all. Because she was always so well put together, she didn't want people to see an ungainly side of her. It's not like I couldn't understand that feeling. Well then, I climbed up onto the pipe and plopped down on my side. さらに応援の年パを高めるため名称状態に入りシュアダスウォッチカーイ結局寝るわけかハウディジュナシーダカミンミオンカモンザワカデイスコノンタイムエンデッアップギビンマイウェイトマイナミンアフタヌーンクラ
If I went by what Rena literally said, then that would be the case. I could hardly imagine Satoko being meek and gentle like a girl in some fairy tale. <laughs> what do you mean, lately? She's always been rude. <laughs> Was this back when her brother was still around? For Satoko to play Koi, I think that would have to be some part of some calculated plot. Even if she was to hide behind someone, I wouldn't think that that was because she was attached to them. But since it came up, I tried to imagine a gentle and uh, coquettish Satoko. Imagine spot? Oh no. Satoko smiled cutely and walked towards me. By the way, for every free steps towards Satoko took, for some reason I took free steps away. Yeah, that's about right. Do not call me that. <laughs> Don't fall for the crocodile tears. The weeping Satogo came closer to me. I'm a sucker for tears. <laughs> Clank! Huh? A bear trap? My leg was being clamped down on by jacket metal teeth! <laughs> Satoko raised her right arm triumphantly, and traps began to trigger one after another. Suddenly, the wall sprang forward, throwing me three blocks away! And there I saw a giant metal ball covered in spikes hurtling towards me! On top of that, in the direction the ball would knock me was a giant guillotine! What is going? Protagonists and their dumb imaginations. I like it when she says that's a lie like that rather when she screams it in our face with reptile eyes. That's much preferable. How could my expression convey what I was thinking like that? <laughs> I need to get I need to see if I can get that Looney Tunes sound clip of Sylvester just saying, spoil brat. <laughs> That would be a great one to play it for Satoko constantly. <laughs> Next, I looked over at Rika-chan, who was working diligently on some kanji drills. In contrast to Satoko, her default state was meek and gentle. If Rika came at me saying Onisama, I'd hug her. Ah, uh, don't be weird. Tightly. Don't be weird. I could get used to that. Don't be weird! Ah, uh, he is he's being, he's being weird. Oh, I'm sure it is. Rika's a lot more, like, aware than you think. Saying that out loud, I felt a tinge of doubt. Was Rika really all that sweet? Despite her appearance, she really was quite sly. Sweetly, how do you put it? Evading things deftly? I couldn't put exactly what I was imagining into, into words, but Rena managed to say what I wanted to. She turned to me with an impish look in her eyes, like she was saying, Ah, you shouldn't say something like that. Unfortunately, I, don't f I think that's pretty likely, and... That's probably not going to be for the best. No, it's not really cool to use people. Rena said that lightheartedly, but I, as a man, couldn't laugh at that. The scary part was that I felt like it could be true. Noticing my gaze, Rika turned towards me and let loose with an angelic smile. Both Rena and I, feeling as if it was directed towards us personally, had our hearts skip a beat. That's not how that works! Appearances can be deceiving, huh? 
Well then, what about our dear leader, Mion? This is just turning into the Bernstein Bears trick-or-treating book. <laughs> I stared at her as she tried to we weasel her way out of scolding by her <laughs> scolding by the teacher. By Rena's theory, that unrefined, calculating, conniving Mion also had a side of hers that belied appearances. Well, we've seen that! <laughs> Way to just say it! <laughs> well, nobody's good, but... <laughs> if that is true! <laughs> good comeback. Catching on that I was struggling to express my feelings as words, Rena smiled even more brightly. It's funny, we're talking about appearances being deceiving, because we know from Chapter 1 that's very true. <laughs> it's like she's a guy, except, you know, she clearly looks like a girl. That's right. Mion was more than aware that she was a girl, but it was exactly as Rena said. When Mion livened up the mood, it wasn't as though she felt like a guy or a girl specifically, but a friend of the same gender. <laughs> I was about to be like, you guys kind of already are very similar. I don't believe that. <laughs> she got two 20s, it's the only expl explanation. <laughs> Rena began to pout. Now probably wasn't the right time to joke around. What if I want to be the club president? <laughs> okay, I believe you. Rena's gaze focused off in the distance, beyond where Mion was. The Mion that I met at the Angel Mort was unimaginably different compared to the Mion I knew normally knew. Not really! She was just embarrassed that you saw her there! <laughs> Flustered and hesitant from the unfamiliar job. It was a far cry from the brash and confident Mion. Even though she had to hurry to work, she went through all of the trouble to bring me food when I was on the brink of starvation. You missed one meal! <laughs> Stop exaggerating! <laughs> and she did so not as Mion, but as Shion. What exactly was Shion to Mion? What kind of person was Mion, exactly? <laughs> Rena, why do you keep repeating the last few words? Contrary to popular belief, it's not endearing. At least not to me. As if to say it was our little secret, Rena held her finger up to her lips as she giggled. Mion, finally free from the teacher's preaching, returned to her seat, cradling her head to hide her embarrassment. <laughs> That's right, Mion also calls herself an old man, which is a little weird. Grade school is not enough for everything you need to study for in life. I admit a lot of high school is not really required for most people's lives. Having said that, still finish high school, folks. High school diploma really, really helps out. But still, you need more than elementary school. Saying that, she plopped down in her to her seat violently. Mion was actually really feminine. Right. I wonder if I can meet Shion again. I wanted to talk to her again. <laughs> clang, clang, clang with the trolley. Maybe that's true. The principal waved around the bell that served as the school chime. The teacher rushed back to the blackboard and began to list everybody's homework assignments. Uh, I have to write a 20 page essay! What do I do? What about that? That's not fair! Uh, yes. Well, I feel like Rena has two sides to her. There's, there's the nice Rena and the other girl. The Rena Ryugu that I knew sometimes took things too far, but was generally a kind and gentle ideal girl. <laughs> She's like, I guess. I'm not that into you. 
if she was the opposite of what she seemed, that would make her... Uh... Let's talk outside. Just try saying it. I won't be mad. That's what I felt she meant. Lena wa... Lena wa? <laughs> Is she about to snap again? I kind of hope so. The question shouldn't have been so nerve-wracking to answer. Maybe it was because the person in question was staring at me, but... Even saying that took a strange amount of effort. Perhaps unable to endure my silence, Rena's face began to burn red with embarrassment. <laughs> Mion walked over and started getting ready to go home. Whenever school is over, she really does get noticeably more energetic. We're going home. It was the same relaxing walk home as always. Digging around in my pocket on a whim, I noticed something that should have been there but was missing. Guess you don't get to go home? Oh no, this is the eighth key I've lost this week. <laughs> My parents, how am I going to explain that? Guess I'll have to sleep over at Mikey's house. I mean, that he's not a character. Which one was it? Did I take it with me this morning in the first place? Huh? Huh? It has a little Lego Darth Vader figure on it. Oh wait, that's Mikey's. Mion walked away and began to whistle. I'm sure it'll turn up, Keiichi. Oh, oh no, she knows we went to Hooters. Oh no, mom's gonna know we went to Hooters. Well, that's okay. Dad'll have to. Dad is the one who took us. As she said that, she suddenly grew flustered and added that Shion had told her about it. How did you not notice you didn't have your house key for like a week? <laughs> My gosh! Guess we got. Oh no, that means he's gonna go back to Hooters and be like, well, since I'm here, might as well ogle at the girls in their uniforms. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. That, this was a rather unexpected development. Once again, I had no choice but to go and meet with Shion. But I also had to thank her for the bento from yesterday. Besides, taking some time and chatting with this other side of Mion might be interesting. Half-jokingly, I began to think about things like this. Mom, Dad, I'll be home late. I'm going to Hooters. If only you knew where we were going, Mion. Oh, wait, you do. Hey, hip hip, I just can't wait to stare at the waitress's skimpy outfits. <laughs> when I think of ideal date spots, Hooters is not in the top ten. <laughs> That's good. Have some good quality daddy daughter time. Don't take her to Hooters. Rena is too pure for Hooters. Well, no, she's not too pure. We know she's a psycho. Rena seemed pretty disappointed about having to miss such a great opportunity. Well, they're not the same sprite, but it looks pretty similar. Again, they are physically identical. <laughs> In response to my teasing, Mion pouted and began to argue with me. I couldn't help but burst out laughing at Mion's little farce. After all, they weren't just identical, they were the same person. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're gonna have to hitchhike to Hooters. 